What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate those of you that were hanging out waiting. Uh, for those of you watching the replay, make sure you like this stream, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you'll be alerted when I do these live streams so that... Turn that off. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so that you'll be notified and you can take part in the live chats, you know? Okay. I don't know why that, that was still going off, but uh, yeah, a bunch of you quick, fast, and in a hurry. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, disappointing news. I was wait, I'm waiting on a massive 11 fragrance haul from Fragrance Buy. Got delayed yesterday, and then now it's saying inc something's up with the address. So after this live stream, I will be going to FedEx to pick up my package because my address is always correct. So I don't, I don't get that. Neither here nor there. Using this platform to complain about parcel services, which as you guys know, suck. So first things first, what's everybody wearing today? I am rocking the unreleased Miami Tropical Confessions from City Rhythm. Uh, I'm not going to dive too much into detail. I will be putting a video out on the 20th, the day that uh, that the pre-order goes down. It's, it starts taking pre-orders on the 20th. This was actually Niles's bottle that he sent my way. Asked me if I wanted to do the launch video, and of course I do. So the one thing I will say, just to give you a brief idea, it's a soft citrus wrapped in rich, thick coconut milk that starts to settle into a more warm, fruity tone with this creamy floral tone that really thickens up the fragrance. This is actually a thick, creamy, tropical fragrance. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. It's actually, spoiler, better than Miami Tropical Seduction. I think anyway, some people will disagree. It's it's a taste thing. You got to like creamy fragrances. This is a creamy tropical fragrance. So definitely some good stuff. Let's see what everybody's wearing. <clears throat> What's going on, Dan? How are you? Beach Bum by Sensual Obsessions. Okay. Azaro Chrome Sport. Excellent choice. Pepe Jean Celebrate. That's another good one. Jim sent Hugo Boss Reverse. That's a good scent for the gym. Robert said, looked like you had fun here in Chicago, I did, indeed. Dior Sport. I'm assuming Dior Ohm Sport, the newest version. That's an assumption. S-Boy by Draco. And she Obsessions Lime in the Sky. Creation E. CK1 Shock. I mean, a bunch of good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Trust you all doing well. Let's remember, do our due diligence to take care of us. Let's keep the engagement high and hit that like button. Thank you very much, Jared. I appreciate that. So it's been a little over a week since the last live stream. And uh, speaking of people asking me if I wanted to review something first, uh, Kevin reached out to me from Central Obsessions and said, hey, you want to check out the new King Andy in the Parfum collection? So here we go. And I have my more recent Andy Warhol to compare it to. Now, I will say I did spray it on my hand last night around 9 o'clock. It is 5 o'clock in the afternoon the next day. And I still have a soft powdery wood with a little bit of the fruitiness. I can tell you right now, which we'll dive into that in a minute, that I find this a little bit fresher. It's a little bit more focused on the fruitiness, less on the oud. I don't get quite the funky oud that I get from the original in here. Like this is this is a little bit different. This King Andy, aside from the change in juice color, the way it's dyed, this is more about the fruitiness, less about the oud, but still a little powdery. Like it's still the same scent, but there's been a shift in the way the notes are done. So we'll, we'll jump on that here in just a minute let me get caught up some more with these sin of the days halloween man shot never tried that one you can comment live again lol i am king speaking of fresh and fruity that's good stuff lacoste poor ohm super underrated at this stage versace mando fresh can never go wrong with that one for sure instant crush or club de nuit untold since they're about the same price in my country. Uh, definitely Instant Crush, but it is it is more floral. But Instant Crush is a better fragrance, in my opinion. But you have to like florals. The Jasmine's more dominant there. That's a better fragrance. It's a way better performer. Just my take, anyways. Kurt, what's going on, Randy? Cologne said, wrapped by Mater Premier. Never heard of that. Profondo, excellent choice. Sid Rhythm, very nice. Dua Blanca Pura, Creed Pure White Clone. Okay, noted. They are indeed. So they can be frustrating, though. Um, I did that shopping video a couple weeks ago where I ordered four fragrances. They shipped me three of them, but still took my money for all four. And then a week later, after I messaged them, initially when the when the halt when the order came in, it was missing Chrome Intense. I messaged them, and they're like, "Oh, well, it states in the email could take one to two weeks to ship." It's like, but you shipped three already, so it's very strange. 
like they have great prices, great inventory. It's a good place to shop, but their, their logistics are a little strange because they then email me a week after this came in to charge my card a second time because they apparently didn't charge the full amount the first time. And I was like, no, go ahead and cancel that part of the order because I got frustrated with you assholes and went ahead and bought it on eBay. So please do not fulfill the order in which they did cancel it. I didn't say it that way, but that's the truth. It's like they frustrated me. So I just bought it for, you know, right around the same price, 23, 24 bucks. I bought Chrome Intense from one of the eBay sellers I frequent. I got it in a few days. I got it. I just haven't opened it yet. That's neither here nor there. Just giving you a heads up. Speaking of Joma Shop, this is recent. I've ordered a bunch of fragrances from them. Typically no trouble, but logistics can be a little funny sometimes. <clears throat> I have not tried that one. I figure just pay attention for shipping times can be long. Montal vanilla cake at Ross for 15, 50 bucks. I mean, I'd grab any Montal at a rack store for 50 bucks and give it a shot. You know, worst case scenario, you can swap it or sell it. But I wonder, is it good? Does it smell like vanilla cake? You know. London Funk. I do have it. I did a full review on it. I sure did. Definitely check out my review. Hills, how are you? Good to see you. What's going on, Grant? Wearing red tobacco. Excellent, excellent choice. Raw Cherry by Aaron Terrence Hughes. Hope you're doing good. Hawass. Also just ordered 9 a.m. Dive from Kingdom Fragrances. Good move, good move. Definitely gearing up for the summer with, with that kind of fragrance. Joel, what's going on? Tempo by Diptyque. Oh. Okay, Dan, you reversed. Your rack store has been crap. Mine have been crappy for quite a while. So let's dive into this. Um, we're going to do the test. Actually, no, screw it. We're going to just go on skin. Why bother saying we're going to do a test trip? So very similar to the Tom Ford private blend bottles is what he has switched to. Uh, a little bit taller, not exactly the same, but the cap is very similar and so on. It's a similar design, it says King Andy. The juice is now a light toned like lavender purple. Yeah, it's so much more fresh and fruity than the older style. The older style is more about the funkiness and the florals, which still hefty amount of plum. Don't get me wrong. Um, both are equally as potent. I would say this is maybe a little bit better on projection because I don't know which one's a higher oil. They both say a parfum, but I'm not sure which one. I'm assuming this is the higher oil concentration based on the longevity alone and the way it wears a little bit close to the skin. It's still a loud fragrance, but not quite as loud as this one. Yeah, this one has a bit more oud going and a little bit of this like jammy rose smell. I don't remember the notes exactly. We'll take a look in a minute on the website. But yes, the new King Andy is a bit fresher and crazy longevity. I mean, I've washed my hands a few times today. I went to the gym. I've sweated. I've done all these different things. Because I put I sprayed it on my hand yesterday after my shower. It was like 9 p.m. It's 5 p.m. the next day. You know, 20 hours in prior to this spray, I still had a soft, powdery, woody smell that was very easy to pick up. And it wasn't a faint skin scent. It was a skin scent, but not a faint skin scent. It wasn't super weak. So the longevity on this is monumental. It's ridiculous. So that lead me leads me to believe this is a higher oil concentration, but it is a reworked formula for sure. Mikey Dens, what's going on? I've only ordered from Joma Shop once and it was smooth. Got my see most of the time, yeah. The, like when I ordered a uh, Polo Blue Parfum, it was no issues. When I ordered uh, the haul that had no, I'm trying to remember which haul it was, but the last one prior to the Hermes and Azaro Chrome Flanker haul, where I had the issue with one being left out, was Polo Blue Parfum. I think was the last time I ordered from them. But most of the time, it's good. Aquawood, great stuff. Vetter, Vetiver Sensual, that's one of the fragrances in this package that FedEx failed to deliver today. I have that coming. I have a few Manceras in that package. Eh, I don't really mess with those. Excited to see the differences. So, uh, yeah, I've already started. How long have you been here, Kevin? Because I already started talking about it. It's, uh, it's much fresher than... So this is clearly fresher the way it's reworked, the way you had it reworked. And the longevity, because I sprayed this on my hand last night at 9 o'clock. I don't know if you caught this part, because I'm literally repeating myself like one minute later. So let me know if you heard this already, so I don't have to repeat it. Um, it's one of those deals where it was literally, it's literally 20 hours later. And before I just sprayed my hand again, I had a soft, powdery, woody smell that wasn't a faint skin scent. 
Um, whereas this is much more funky and floral dominant. Like I said, a lot more, uh, a lot more jammy rose. It's an X straight. I guess that means you didn't hear me because that wasn't what I asked. <laughs> so this is this is a bit louder. The previous version. But like I said, bonkers longevity so far in that first test spray from yesterday. I'm surprised for it being a higher oil concentration, how much fresher it actually is. Maybe it just needs to macerate more because this is macerated for like two years. So it's super, super rich at this point. But this is that's the biggest thing for me. Those of you that want something that's going to stick to you like glue and never go away. King Andy might be the one for you. Now, I would say this is a plus for sure. Because of the freshness that I'm getting from this that I don't get here, I think this will work a little better moving closer to the summer. Neither are good for the summer. I'm not saying to wear this in the summer. It'll be too cloying still. But when you start to get that transition into fall after the summer, you could wear this one a lot sooner than you can wear this one. This one, for me personally, is cool climate, cold climate only. Winter, cold falls, beginning of spring when it's still cold if you live in those areas. Whereas based on the freshness of this one, I think you can start wearing this one a little bit sooner or a little bit longer, depending on the transition. Going in the fall, earlier in the fall. Going winter to spring, later into the spring. I think this adds a little bit more versatility because of the added freshness. Definitely trying to get rid of that funk part. So there you go. Yeah, the oud funk is not near as present. So that makes this a little bit more mass appealing. Uh, a little bit easier to those that don't like the funky oud smell, which I've always thought it was very charming about this. That's why it's my favorite from Central Possessions. I love, I love this one. This one provides a different dynamic, though. It's the same scent profile, like I said previously, just kind of reworked. Reworked, it adds a little bit of freshness with just, this was already a monster in longevity. It tones back some of the projection without sacrificing much sillage because it's a higher oil concentration. So it's still very dense. It's denser technically than this one, but the longevity is just outrageous. It is outrageous. Like it literally, I went to bed five hours later and I still had the oil sheen on my hand from last night. It's, it's crazy. It really is. That ever since well, 40 bucks for a 50 ml at Frag, Frag, that's what I bought. Yeah. I got, I got the 60 ml. It's a 60 ml, not a 50 ml. Um, and Sarah doesn't make 50 mls. But uh, yeah, I have I have the 60 ml coming. I have a 60 ml of that. A 60 ml of no, it's is it a 60 ml of so blue? I think so blue is a 100 ml tester. I have a 100 ml. I want to say it's either 100 or 60. I don't remember of lemon line coming. I tried that at Nathan's. Fell in love with lemon line. Had to get a bottle. Let me look real quick. Take a quick glance at my order. Just to give you guys an idea of why I am want my package, damn it. I've got Virtus Eau de Cyan coming. Remember I told you guys the next one I wanted to try from the house was their aquatic. Got a bottle coming. Uh, lemon line, that's 100 ml I have of lemon line and so, so blue. And then Vetiver Sensual is the 60 ml. I got Kenzo Poron coming, Ben's Club Extreme, Ferragamo Bright Leather, Blue Noir Extreme from Narciso Rodriguez, Two of the the two newest um, maritime flankers from Tommy Bahama, Ferrari Cedar Essence, and what else? I covered everything. That's all eleven. So big, big haul, big, big haul. Super excited about that. I wear Dior on Parfum when it's ninety five out in the summer. Clearly, I don't believe you. More power to you if you do, but I feel like that's a troll comment. I feel like you're trolling me right now, because I find it very hard to believe. Where you sense any time F what people think. But it's about the wearing experience for me. I don't give a shit what other people think. It's about the wearing experience. But thank you for all your critiques and criticisms. <laughs> three minutes. What's three minutes? Oh, I'm guessing that's how long you had been watching at that point. Okay. So I did miss that. Uh, I do like tempo. I haven't worn it in a long time, though. It's not one that I reach for. I like it, don't love it. Like there's others from the house that I like more, for sure. See, let me pull that comment down. As it's starting to settle, that plum is getting sweeter and sweeter by the moment. And I mean, got the nice oil sheen on both hands, <laughs> you know. This is the previous version in my left hand and on my left hand. 
And this is the new King Andy on my right hand. This is fresher. It's just overall fresher. Kevin, was that intentional? I'm very curious. Was that an intentional thing to make? I know you said already that you wanted to tone down the funkiness of the oud here and cut the oud back, which clearly has been done. But is that a byproduct, the freshness a byproduct of that? Or was it purposefully made to be fresher? Because it's very airy. It's got kind of almost like an ozonic quality to it. Wasn't sure if he was trolling either. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you wear DHP in the summer, more power to you. I definitely wouldn't do that. Mino's Club Extreme smells like Amen in the opening develops into a similar mustache EDP pretty quickly. 10-4. I'll try my best to let that leave my mind so I'm not influenced when I smell this blind buy. I try to I don't like to be influenced. I don't like to watch any reviews or any of that stuff. Uh, because I like to be as blind as possible. So I'm gonna do my best. I thank you for weighing in, but I don't want to remember what you said. I hope I don't remember it. Because I try to I try to be blind as I can for these blind buys. Favorite part of the weekend? Whew. I had some I had a great time working out with Dan and Stefan. That was fun. Uh, we worked, me and Dan worked out three days straight. Stefan came that night after we had already worked out the first day and worked out with us the next two days. So that was fun. And then we went do some post workout meals and we do some rack store hunting. It's kind of a tie between that and the actual party. The party was fantastic. It was, it was great. It was a great time. Everybody cut up and had a good time. It was awesome. Favorite Montal fragrance is easily Fougere's Marine because in many ways it's like Niche Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. Easily. Not really, but I think the less oud makes it fresher, but wasn't trying to change that, but it ended up liking it. Yeah, I, I actually prefer it. Now, in the winter time, I would still prefer the previous version because it is heavier, funkier, more oud. I like my ouds. Sweet ouds like this, I like that in the winter. Whereas this is a much fresher fragrance that's toned back greatly. It still dries down to that powdery wood smell that this one dries down to. Like the dry downs are kind of what what minus some of the funk. But this is ultimately fresher. Toning back the oud, I guess the freshness is a byproduct of it because, yeah, I, I think this to be a little bit more wearable than the previous version. While the previous version was a masterpiece, I think you made this one an easier reach for people. Yeah, I really think that's what happened here. I dig it. I dig it. Let's pull up the website. Dan said, yeah, we did. I haven't seen a live stream in a while. I forgot. You like going blind? No, 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 no reason to apologize. I just I want to forget your comment because um, I'm glad you weigh in. I'm glad you you can weigh in. I appreciate everybody's opinions. I just want to I don't want to be influenced because when you read certain things or see certain things that that sticks in your mind and your look subconsciously, you're looking for that when you smell it the first time. You know what I mean? So I don't want to like I've kind of forgotten what you said and I don't I don't I'm not going to read it again intentionally. I'm going to continue to carry both. I would. They're different enough. It's the same scent, but because of the way they're composed, the way the balance is, has been reworked, they're going to suit different personalities, different people. That's that's what I would say. If you like the funky ooh, you want the heavier fragrance, here it is, the previous version, Andy Warhol 2.0, I believe. King Andy, fresher, more, more accessible for more people, I guess you could say. This would be this is more of a dip your toe way into this one because this is a little polarizing for some, though most people that have tried it love it. This one, this one adds some mass appeal to it. I think it's an easier reach of the two. What are some notes in bronze, amber, and oud? Jared with the $5 super sticker. I appreciate that. So let's go ahead and do a little screen share and check out the website, shall we? Here we go. Essentialobsessions.com. Parfum X straight line, which is where King Andy is. Let's see. Kevin, does it matter which one I click? Oh, here we go. Okay, Altier, Tommy Hilfiger, Creed. Where's Bond number nine? Does it have its own page? There's Originals, Dolce & Gabbana. I think what we're going to do instead, where's the, I think the search is at the bottom, if I remember correctly. Where's the search? Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's just do this. King Andy. There we go. Apart from X straight line. New King Andy. There we go. It's a darker purple on here for sure. Limited stock. So you can get in a variety of sizes. 
five, 15, 30, 50 ml and 100 ml. This is a 50 ml. Yeah, this is the 50 ml. This is what the bottle would be with the label on the side. King Andy is our formulation of Andy Warhol based off our all-time number one selling fragrance from our bronze line. We've finally made it into an extrate. So what concentration is your extrates? Because 25% is where you hit extrates. So how far is it that or how far above is it, Kevin? I'm just curious just to spread the info. Yoram, oh, excellent choice. Uh, firepower, I have not tried that one. I mean, if you like Profumo, just get Profumo. Don't look at quality over quantity. You know, if, if you really like Profumo, just get that. You know, don't buy stuff just to buy stuff. You know, get what you really want. Definitely is a lot of people like the original, but also a lot of people don't like that funk. That makes sense. You can search by the fragrance houses, high top click fragrance houses. Have to order this this week. It smells Profumo first. You can usually find an Ulta. 33%. So here you go, guys. That's a very high oil concentration. That is very high. And what and what was the oil concentration of the previous version, just for shits and giggles, out of curiosity? Because this is definitely a higher oil concentration because it lasted hours longer. It survived ha several hand washings over an extended period of time. That's the biggest difference here is the oud. I really think that's the only thing that separates them at this point. Now that they're starting to settle in, it's not the opening spray. It's not the top note anymore. I think that's what's separating them. All my extraits and customs are 33. Oh, check it out. Some punk bitch subscribed for two weeks so he could, uh, he could troll. Okay, no worries. So let's do this to where you guys can see it. So you can see me hide user on this channel. So there goes that little bitch. There we go. We're done with that. Okay. 25%. Okay. So it's right where the parfum concentration begins is where the previous version is. So it literally dialed back the oud and cranked up the oil concentration 8%. That's impressive. That's impressive. I like it. I definitely like it. I think you did a good job with this, Kevin. 33% is high. I'm going to have to get my hands on it. Yeah, it's it's very high oil concentration. It's going to be serious longevity. Yeah, it's, it's it sticks for a while. Let's see. Polo Blue Parfum. Excellent choice, Spencer. Excellent, excellent choice. Some good stuff. Let's see. What's up, everybody? Today I sent Clive Christian's Imperial Majesty, which is very expensive. I caught him before I saw it later, Tater. No worries. Loving this breakdown. I appreciate that. Thank you. Because, you know, I'm glad you could join for the worst reviewer, according to the troll. So back to your cave on Reddit, bitch. So still fresh. So give it a few more weeks. too. Yeah, I'm sure some some further maceration will probably do it. Some I mean, look at this shine. Just the glare hitting it. <laughs> That's the old version. And then. Same thing. Look at all that shine. Jesus Christ. High oil concentration, guys. You definitely get plenty for your money here. There's no denying that. Whoops. Meant to go here. So let me put this back. Uh-oh. Shit's going down, passing by. Oh, don't sweat it, Chris. I appreciate that, man. You know, there's uh, there's people that love to hate me and people that just really love me so much they want to make make it look like they hate me whatever I'm, we're not going to give any attention to that i'm uh no longer trolling the trolls back uh they can post whatever they want about me and continue to help me grow because i've i'm at an all-time high in growth and viewership and everything this year so keep at it bitches um let's see Send of day bentley intense excellent excellent choice josh would appreciate that you know how josh feels about that shout out to josh savage edt and paco Rabanne phantom layering combo that's an interesting one Grab all your fragrances, Ross. Yeah, no shit. The cameo. I still wear OG. Yeah, I have a very, very old bottle. Uh, I find myself reaching for this one more. This one's a little bit richer than the original because I have like the either first or very, very first or second batch with my old, old 60 ml bottle. I, when I wear it, I, I prefer to wear this one. I do. I mean, it's pretty much what and what, but I don't know. Just subconsciously, I, 
I reach for this one. Maybe it's because of the pretty label. Because that is one pretty label. Love the richness of the color and everything. So salute to Josh. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I do not. I actually don't do anything with my forearms. I just naturally have good forearm genetics. Um, my forearms get are the first thing to get lean. First thing to get lean. So I actually, because I used to train my forearms doing reverse curls and, and you know, rolling the rope and stuff like that um, with a weight on the end. But it gets to where they grow quicker than the rest of my arm and it get, it creates an imbalance. So I don't bother because my forearms, they get plenty of work just from doing biceps and triceps and different movements. So I just, I literally don't train my forearms. You're not joking. You must be doing something right because they're everywhere. That's how, that's how I know you're a hundred K on the way. No doubt. I agree. Ross is the worst mm -hmm. and not trying to get me to buy more fragrances. Haters actually help you. They still give you exposure. Yeah, I, I don't sweat none of that, man. Bond number nine, New Harlem. They made sure to let everybody know everything I wore this past weekend. It was very nice of them. So anybody that didn't follow me on Instagram was able to still see, you know. So Kyler purchased a 480 ml bottle back then. I guess I'm a fan. Nicely done. Yeah, no shit. That's back when you were doing decants too, though, before you started really making your own fragrances. Have them Cajun forearms. Yeah, there you go. Was much fun. I took care of my taxes. Pedigree. Ooh, full of pedigree. You have my attention. You know, I like my pedigree heavy fragrances. Joel, nice to see you. So, uh, yeah, we got the business done pretty quickly. And we, not even to the 30 minute mark. But, guys, I would suggest getting a sample and trying it, especially if you're a fan of this one. Let's say maybe your bottle's getting a little low. You were debating on grabbing it again. Get a sample and try King Andy. King Andy might be better for you, unless you just know you love that funky oud that goes with this one. Then stick with this one. But if you want something a little fresher, same scent profile literally just dials back the oud and it makes it fresher. That's really the only thing I can see different here other than this one lasts longer. This one's louder. This one lasts longer. This one's funky. This one's fresher. It's that simple. Kudos, Kevin. They're both great. I'm glad to have both. I would say this is going to be more fall. When I'm in the mood for the scent profile, I'll wear this in the fall and I'll stick to wearing this one in the winter like I always do. That's why I don't have a huge dent because I, I have over a thousand fragrances, but this is one of my all-time favorite cold weather fragrances. So I just randomly, I might wear it once or twice during the winter. There's every season, there's a fragrance that I love that I might only wear once or twice. Dior en Parfum, that's another one. I only wear it in the winter. I don't wear it in the summer. <laughs> only wear it in the winter, but I might only wear it once or twice because I'm always testing something. I always got new shit coming in, whether it's something that was sent to me, stuff I buy. I'm always buying stuff. Got a bunch of shit I bought from eBay. Got stuff coming in from Fragrance Buy. There's always something going on. The, the uh, buying addiction, I guess, that comes with the fragrance hobby. All right, let's see. Where, where did I leave off with the comments? Here we go. Like your chain, like uh, no, it's all stainless steel. Thank you for asking though. This is this is all stainless steel. Uh, the stuff I wore at the party was gold, ten karat gold. But this is this is all stainless steel. You know, the gold I don't pull out that often. This I wear every day. I'm just sweating it, don't care, get it beat up, whatever. I wear this stuff every. I've had this chain for a long time too. I just recently started wearing it again. Since Obsessions makes great by the fireplace clone. Dunhill Racing Icon Blue. I might grab that one too. Uh, no, that's not the one I was thinking. Icon Racing, the green bottle, the one that kind of smells like that gets compared to Invictus Aqua and Legend Spirit. I think that might be the first one I get. It's been a long time. I know it's very soapy. I know Justin talks about it from time to time. It's been a long time since I've smelled it though. Jared with the $5 super chat. Yesterday's live collaboration of Triple X was legit. Love seeing everything and everyone. The party also looked fantastic. It was great. Thanks, brother. And 100% great breakdown. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. It's good stuff, man. You did a great job. I, I think I do prefer it a little bit. I think I prefer King Andy a little bit. But again, I'm still going to wear this one in the winter. I just feel like I'll have more opportunities to wear this one because the wearing, I don't want something too heavy, too cloying all the time. Like I'm starting to transition into fresher stuff now. Whereas... This is a pleasant surprise because of the freshness. It was it was definitely a surprise, but a pleasant one nonetheless. I love the funky oud. Yeah, I'll try the new Andy Warhol. Yeah, I mean it's worth worth giving a shot. If you like the old one, it's worth trying the new one. I haven't opened your own parfum yet, but I'm in California. 
<clears throat> yes, I have David Beckham on. I actually have a video that features it. I know you don't like Vetiver much, but it's lighter version of Terry Mez. Yeah, it, it's certainly it's something about the Terry Mez Vetiver uh, that just smells kind of funky on my skin. I've really wanted to wear it. The only one I haven't tried is the Parfum. I watched Justin talk about it recently. I might roll the dice and get the Parfum. I feel like it's got more oak moss dominant, like it's more of a sheepra. It's like a heavier earthier take but not vetiver earthy from what i understand so i think i might have a chance at enjoying the parfum and worst case scenario I, I can just turn around and sell it which i don't know something tells me that i'd probably like the parfum that's that's one of the few that i haven't tried i've tried the eau de toilette the eau de parfum eau Tre fresh i have not tried the parfum so i think that's the last one to try for me because i have au Givre. love it Question. Been looking to get some Soma Halcyon, but it's sold out and been for a while. How long do you think? Well, it depends on when he, because he bought, he buys them directly from Soma. So uh, he sends out an email. Make sure to sign up for his emails because every time he restocks, he sends out an email. So sign up for his newsletter. That'll be the easiest way because he sells out of it quick. That's under the radar, hot as shit in the community because it's so good. That's a hot fragrance. It goes as soon as he gets however many he gets, they go quick. Within a day or two, he's sold out. And you don't just get five bottles. He gets a bunch of bottles. Omar, appreciate the 999 Super Chat. Keep up the great work, both in your fragrance channel and your workout journey. Been following your workout posts, and you definitely motivate me to go harder during my gym sessions. I appreciate that, Omar. Thank you, man. I love I love being in the gym. It was legs today. I didn't do any cardio. I didn't go in the sauna, so I didn't sweat too heavy. That's why I'm still wearing this shirt. Uh, just a little bit of sweating because uh, I took the hoodie off pretty quickly. I started off with pants over my, my shorts. And a, and a hoodie on, took the pants off once I was, it was time to put my knee sleeves on, took the hoodie off a few sets in and just kind of trained in a t-shirt because it's a little warmer today. Um, but it was a good workout. I appreciate that though. Thank you for the words of encouragement. Right back at you. And thank you for the super chat. Got that strong with you, Amber coming. Shh, don't say nothing, Montrees. Don't tell me when you get it because I've got it. I've got notify me on with fragrance by when they get it stocked again. I missed it both times. The next time around, I'm going to get it. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. I'll probably grab only while I'm at it, too. But next go round, I'm going to get it. I'm excited for you. I think I'm going to love it. $5 super chat from Jared again. I appreciate you, Jared. Have to know where you get that fly Street Fighter shirt. Marshalls, believe it or not. I saw it again today. That's the final version. That's the Ultra Street Fighter 2 shirt. Um, and then those vans with the flames on them, I grabbed while we were in Chicago when we hit the rack stores, went to Raw Stress for Less. And uh, I, it's it's typically out my comfort zone, and it really sparks some interest on the internet. So mission accomplished. That worked out great, actually. And it actually went, went really well with the shirt too. It was great for the pizzeria and everything. So yeah, is I love the fit, and I love that it really stirred up the assholes. It really stirred them up. So gotta love it. Thank you for the super chat, man. Check your marshals. Check your marshals. Sure, you work legit, but any others? You would recommend Summer Scent. So his version of Invictus Aqua 2016 has always been a favorite of mine. It's very, very accurate to Invictus Aqua 2016. Um, but I don't wear a ton of stuff from Sensual Obsessions here and there. It's mainly the Andy Warhol fragrance. Like I kind of pick a favorite from a house, and that's kind of what I go to when I'm in the mood for the house. Same thing with Latafa and, and Alexandria and houses like that that do a lot of clones. That's uh, that's kind of where I'm at. I'll, I'll gravitate towards one specifically, and that's kind of the one I wear. And for Central Obsessions, it's this one. But now I have the fresher version. So it's good stuff, too. It is getting sweeter and sweeter. That plum's really taking hold of this fragrance. It's going bananas by Central Obsessions. I haven't tried it, so maybe somebody else can weigh in. I love the funky oud as well, especially when it's covered in vanilla. 10-4. Noah with the five dollar super chat. I appreciate that. What up, brother? Hope you had safe travels. I definitely did. Favorite scent all time. Scent of the day. Oud mood by Latafa. All of heard good stuff about that one. I might have to grab it. I think it's like twenty bucks or less too. Less than twenty bucks. Might have to grab it. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about that one lately. Um, I want to say Angel did a video recently on it too. I want to say I saw a thumbnail. Um, all time favorite. My my favorite for years now has been Invictus Aqua twenty eighteen, but all time. It's 
I'm, I'm really leaning towards Tommy here because Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger, it's just like, it's the nineties for me. The nineties was my era. I was a child of the nine. I was born in 85. So the prime years of fun for me were the nineties. And that's the first fragrance I ever like asked for as a Christmas gift. And so, so I, I think I got to stick with Tommy. That's why Fougere's Marine's my favorite Montal fragrance. And no matter what kind of greatness comes through there, I'll never like a fragrance more than Fougere's Marine from them. Cause it's niche, great performing Tommy, not exactly the same, but the opening sure is pretty much Tommy. You know, so I, yeah, I got to go with Tommy. Thank you for the five five dollar super chat. I appreciate it. Surprised me versus the EDT for some reason seemed sharper, so I stuck with the EDT and and the EDT smelled great on Dan. The, before we went work out, he was wearing Terre Hermes Eau de Toilette. It smelled a little fruity on him. The orange came across a little fruity, uh, not super sweet, almost a little bubble gum. And it could have been mixing with my light blue O intense that I was wearing. Uh, but we definitely could smell each other. We had that conversation when we first met up before we went hit the gym. Icon Absolute Gold Bottle does not smell good. Any opinions on this fragrance or is my sense of smell lacking maturity? LOL. I'm not sure personally. Big upgrade, smoother and richer. See, I think I would like that one. I don't have anything against the EDT. I don't hate it. It's just a little weird on my skin as it dries. The opening's fine. It's as it dries. It's like you mix one million with Sculpture Ohm and add some baby powder. It's definitely good stuff for the price. Noted. You think things like Tarathi Blue and 9 p.m. are just as good as some designer fragrances? I think very much so. Better than a lot of designer fragrances because the quality is pretty good on them, especially 9 p.m. 9 p.m. smooth. And then Tarathi Blue is just so enjoyable. And we're still, I'm moving into that weather where that's about to make its way to the rotation table. That and a 9 a.m. dive. They're about to make their way to the rotation. I got to adjust some stuff on that rotation table, get rid of some of these heavier fragrances. Um, Cause this week I got cooler weather. So like I'm wearing some slightly heavier stuff throughout the week this week. And then hopefully starting next week, moving forward, it's moving into fresh stuff. Cause it's just been here and there. I've been wearing fresh stuff lately. Okay. I won't say nothing yet. Yeah, don't tell me. And asked for a long time now, how's the cut going? So I cheated on my diet for three days straight while we were there. I, I, I did good on Thursday. Friday was actually cheat day. And then Saturday, I mean, we had cannolis and all this stuff. I mean, I, I didn't cheat heavily on the diet, but I had some dessert. And then Sunday, I was at the airport and I was hungry. So I had um, two hamburgers and a large fry at McDonald's. So I had technically had cheat meals, a cheat dessert and a cheat meal on Saturday and Sunday. And my actual cheat day, which I ate like shit, I had McDonald's that morning. We had IHOP post-workout, which that was really good, but I ate the waffles with the syrup. There you go, sugar and carbs. And then that night we had pizza. You know, so it was a real cheat day. I didn't count any calories or macros that day because I knew it was going to be out of whack. So the real cheat day was a real cheat day. But, I mean, I haven't. I gained five pounds from that cheat day. The next day I weighed myself and I gained five pounds of water from Friday to Saturday. <laughs> I literally weighed... Five pounds more the next day from, from all the fucking carbs I had. It's hilarious. And I mean, I've, I've since I sweated out. I hit the sauna yesterday and did a dedicated cardio day and kind of I dropped like three of those pounds already. So not sweating. It. But yeah, it's going pretty good. Back to tightening things up. I mean, it's good to have that once in a while. My body was a sponge for it because I'm so strict. I've been strict for two months now. <sighs> Don't tell me nothing. Shout out to Buck for being back. I saw that he's back, but mm, don't tell me nothing. <laughs> Speaking of Street Fire, what's up? So it smells just like Aquaman. If you have the Aquaman flanker, then you have the Street Fighter flanker. It's literally the same thing with the different rebottling. Yeah. Hell yeah, Marshall's Walmart mirror. Great t-shirts like that. Good afternoon. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. We definitely are, Johnny. Glad you're here. So I'm, I'm li not liking Tarothi Blue. I'm letting it sit for a minute to develop. Really? I think it's a beautiful opening. Beautiful. No, I, I do. The, I did the extra thin at the place we ate. I like thin crust. I'm not a deep dish guy. I have some fondness for Tommy Boy also. There you go. Tommy and Polo Sport for me. It's good stuff. I even like the newer version of Polo Sport. People complain about it. It's still a good fragrance. Still sim very similar to what it used to be. Uh, none of them perform that great. If you're looking for performance, Tommy Bahama is not the fragrance house for you. Definitely not. Like at best, you're looking at six hours from like St. Bart's is probably the 
Tommy Bahama for men and St. Bart's are the two best performing because I get around six hours from those. But they're all eau de colognes, but they do perform better than typical eau de cologne concentration. Um, but some people still only get two or three hours out of them. So it depends on your skin, but that's the two that perform the best for me. I have the majority of their scents. Um, but I mean, I just love the way they smell and how fresh they are. Very summery, very, very summery fragrances. Let's rewatch. Night Vision EDP, excellent choice, Lee. Excellent, excellent choice. Just got Latafa Kate Alpha Sun last week, and I heard you call it a pineapple bomb. Yes. I was not expecting that. It's good, though. Might be my cold, rainy day scent. Yeah, it's very much a pineapple. Pineapple and woods. That's the main thing. It's a little bit of saffron, but a bunch of like um, almost a little bitter and juicy pineapple. 499 Super Chat, smooth operator. Thanks for all you do, no matter what anyone says. You are the GOAT. We need to get you that YouTube plaque. I appreciate that. Hopefully one day. I'm pacing for my birthday right now, according to Social Blade. I'm pacing 100K for four days before my birthday. I hope I keep that pace up. I'd rather get a plaque for Christmas. That'd be great. But I'll take it for my birthday. I'm not complaining. I just want, want the plaque. I'm probably going to tear up. Like I, like I told you guys before, if and when I do get that, I'm going to open that package on a live stream. And because I, I want that to be a genuine moment with me and you guys, because that's, oh man, that's, that's, that's quite the milestone. You know, everybody that makes content wants that, you know, even the people that pride, oh, I don't care if I grow bullshit. You'd love to get that milestone. That's, that's, that's great. And I hope, hope to achieve that one day, if not sooner than later. <laughs> Since Orange Spice, keep doing your things, fellas. Been rocking Dolce Mill Light Blue for women more than the men's OG bottle. That's good stuff. It's just like floral, more floral, Versace, Mano Fresh. Similar, just a little bit more on florals, you know? I like it. I got my bottles right there. I'm looking at it. I love it. I want to get the O Intense for the women's. I've been wanting to get it for a couple of years. I need to just pull the trigger. This, this is the summer that I'm going to get it. Let's see. I'm also legit. And I'm going to rock with it until the wheels fall off. Appreciate you, Jared. The Rock, yeah, but, man, the kind of shit he's on and the lifestyle he has, he can afford to to eat the way he eats. I could not. I could not. Good Lord. Not yet. I saw that. Uh, I don't even think it's technically out yet. And if it is, I haven't seen it for sale anywhere. But I saw iFragrance post for it. Um, I'm definitely interested in checking it out for sure. Uh, Ultra Blue was eh. You know, it's not terrible, but it's not great either. The opening is a little much, but the dry down's great. That's one of the few that kind of gives me the bug spray vibe that some people talk about with other ones. But I don't hate it. I've worn it a bunch of times. I did a full review on it. Um, it's nice. It's just not phenomenal like I hoped it would be. Uh, I would put it in the good category. I think that's what I gave it, like a 6, 5, something like that. Like, mm, it's good. It's average. Nothing special. Platinum I have higher hopes for. Tommy, that basic stuff. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. Selly Tyree. Parfum was the hardest one to wear, in my opinion. Ross, it's not that bad. The most important is to get back on track as soon as possible. We're all hooping. Oh, yeah, yeah. From time, You got to fall off the wagon when it comes to your diet here and there. You can't sustain a strict diet at all times forever and ever and ever. Some people can, but that's a very small percentage of people. Keeping it real, a lot of jokers would have lied about cheating. I'm late to the live, but happy I'm here. Appreciate you, Duck. Glad you're here, man. I'm not sweating it after explaining. They sweat it out. Well, no, I like I knew I was going to get back on track right away. You know, like it was fine. I When I say I wasn't sweating it, it's like I was just going to enjoy being there and eat whatever everybody else was eating and just do it, you know. And I'll, I'll course correct when I get back home. And that's what I've done. I've course corrected. Profondo, why EDT and Loam to attend a wedding? Ooh. Is it an outdoor wedding? Because that's all freshies. Blue fragrances. Not really the stuff I would lean to for a wedding, personally. Um, because I would go a little bit more daring. It's a conversation piece for a wedding. Personally. Again, if you want to go with the freshies, there's nothing wrong with going with the freshies. Uh, but if I had to pick between those three, mm, I want to say why EDT, but I mean, you're good with any of them, really. Just comes down to taste. You know, you're good with any of them. There you go. Why? 
Joel's thinking the same thing. Can't wait to see. I can't believe I met you at 500 subscribers. Yeah, it's been a long time, Kevin. It's been a long time. It's been almost four years. Almost four years. You'll get it, mate. You're a genuine guy of great content. Love what you do. Peeps respond and respect that. Thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate the kind words. Thank you, man. Indeed, I agree. Kevin's version of Elysium is good. Loam Intense. Just, I don't know if it's redundant since I have Dior Loam Intense and Gentleman EDP. Not really. Those two, the latter two, are redundant to each other. Loam Intense is a bit different. It's more about patchouli and leather with a soapy iris. That, that is less like the other two. The other two are similar to one another. So I think you're okay. Not as redundant as you may think. Far less redundant than the other two are to each other. Who let the trolls out? Exactly. That's all good. I don't sweat it. Look, if they want to take the time to subscribe for two weeks just to say one comment then get blocked... More power to them. <laughs> Go for it. You know, I'm not sweating that. Darren J, what's going on? Glad you could join, man. Let me turn off the screen share since we're not using that again. 46 minutes. We'll hang out for a few more minutes. We'll get to the 500 mark. So I got something that came in today. I wanted to share with you guys. I pulled it to the side. The repackaging of Oligarch Parfum, Isola Blue. Very excited to get this one. When I got the alert from DHL, Coming from overseas, I said, ooh, I know what that is. Look how freaking gorgeous this color is. My God. You want to talk about favorite shades of blue? Not quite Tiffany blue. This is more like a clear ocean water type of blue. And the funny thing is this is more of a green scent. Because this is, because I asked when they first posted stuff about it. I said, is this is this oligarch? Because that's how they were advertising. I said, is it? He said, it's literally. Shout out to Jack. Jack said, it's literally. The same formula, same fragrance, rebottled with a new name. So this is Oligarch Parfum. And some of you have heard my thoughts on Oligarch Parfum. I think it's the best fragrance from the house. So now Isa Le Blue is the best fragrance from the house. For versatility, wearability, likability, and just the compliment factor alone is a 10. I don't give a 10 for any category ever. On, on my verse sense battle with Ogun, with EQ, that's what I said. I said, compliment factor on this, 10. 10. Every time I wear it, somebody wants to tell me how good I smell. Justin, big fan of it as well. 10. Compliment factor on this, 10. It's the exact same fragrance as Oligarch Parfum. I will do a video comparing the two, even though I already know it's exactly the same. Uh, just, I got to say, they took the packaging to the next level with this color scheme. That is the prettiest cap, in my opinion. That is the prettiest Raja Parfums cap. None of them are better than this. I'm sorry. I, I'll argue with anybody because that is the prettiest Raja Parfums cap of all time. My God, it's gorgeous. So I haven't sprayed it yet. I just opened it and I put it to the side. I forgot I wanted to show you guys this came in today. Super excited. I always get excited when I get something from them. Love the house. I'm a big shill. Whatever. Fuck you guys that think that. Not you guys. The people that call me that. Whatever. The fragrances are phenomenal. They're <laughs> Most of them. The only one I've ever not really cared for was um, Hot Lux. That's the only one I never liked. I never liked it. I smelled it one time with Justin. I've liked all the rest of their phrase. Sheep Ray Extraordinaire. I haven't smelled most of the women's ones. But, yeah, when it comes to Raja Parfums, they make some phenomenal fragrances. Phenomenal. Baby Blue Jeans. Ooh, I've never tried that one. That one's similar color to this. That's That's a pretty bottle, pretty color scheme. I've never tried it. Never tried it. I would love to try it, personally. It's not that easy. It's been gone for a long time. Unreal bottle. Spray it one time. I need to know ASAP. I got stuff on already. I'm wearing three fragrances right now. Nice presentation. See, so you have versions of Play and Play Intense. I haven't tried those. Chris, make sure thing. I agree about that Raja Cap. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I am pretty close to Justin, yeah. Yeah, catching up. We're kind of running the same page. Justin's shorts do great. His shorts videos, they do great. He gets a ton, a ton of views from those. So, uh, yeah, because we had talked about it. When I started doing them more regularly, we talked about it. I was like, man, you should try these voiceovers that I'm doing. And as you see, we both do the voiceovers and the three. Uh, he goes a little bit longer than I do. I try to make him quick. He go, He takes the full minute most of the time, but it's working for him for sure, you know. And that was the conversation we had a few weeks back. We uh, 
let's let's hit 100k together that's the goal like that's ideally we'll hit it around the same time fingers crossed i would love that because justin's one of my dearest friends in the world that'd be that'd be awesome if we could hit it around the same time that'd be great god willing god willing that'll be the case you know i'm glad you guys are here to come along for the ride and be a part of it without you guys there is no getting to any milestones you know It's maintaining the freshness, but now that they're drying down, they're getting much, much closer to one another. It's becoming more of a woodsy fragrance and less of that funky oud smell. Like at the top, you get a lot of funkiness from the previous version. Whereas with this version, it's a soft wood smell in the background that's kind of leveling out now that they're drying. You both deserve it. I appreciate that, David. Thank you so much. Seriously, seriously. So anybody have any other questions? We got a few more minutes. We're gonna be hanging out. And you guys got me. What you want to talk about? You know. So what do you want to talk about? A little Cody Rhodes reference. Oh, I got a new light, by the way. We got this big old soft box with the grid. I'm sure you've noticed my lighting's a little bit different in the last two videos, plus right now. I got this massive. How many centimeters is it? 85 centimeters? I think it's 85 centimeters with a new light and everything from newer. And uh, yeah, I got massive, big soft box light now. So the only problem is it's a cool temperature light. Uh, I have one diffuser. It comes with two diffusers and the grid. Um, I've got one diffuser plus the grid. And I really like the way it accentuates and lights everything. It's like very even, even though it's off to the side and not directly in front of me. It's very even keeled the way it is. Love it. Love it. Love it. Ever heard of my pure perfume select oud nectar? I have not. By the way, my last haul, I got a bottle of Paris Corner Cahila Platinum. Good stuff, right? Volcanus with the $10 super chat. My man, I appreciate you. Better for sensual, my man Sarah. Have to grab that Raja re release also. Yeah, I mean, anybody that missed out on Oligarch Parfum, now is going to be your chance with Isola Blue. I, I love that they changed the packaging. I technically have 100 ml now, so I can be, I can be less sparing because I've been kind of <laughs> hoarding the sprays. Um, I haven't really worn it, Oligarch Parfum, this year. I wore it a good bit last year. I wore it a couple handfuls of times last year. It was like my travel fragrance go-to. It's right there. And I have the old EDP version, too. But the Parfum is superior, for sure. Definitely Sphinx Elixir. But thank you for the super chat, by the way, Volcanus. I appreciate you, man. Uh, I would definitely go with Sphinx Elixir, for me personally. Black Anubis, you can't go wrong with that one, either. That's my two favorites. Black Anubis was my favorite from the first six, then when the new three came out, Sphinx Elixir kind of took the king of the mountain spot for me. Oh, yes, for me, for me personally, yes, for sure. It's one of the best designer iris fragrances I've ever smelled. I love it. I love it. Picture Lamal, add some warm spice and a bunch of powdery kind of waxy iris. Beautiful fragrance, warm, ambery, spicy, aromatic, powdery, very powdery. You have to like powdery iris. It's gorgeous. It is definitely my favorite Lamal flanker. I have high hopes for Lamal Elixir, but I don't know if it'll top Lamal Le Parfum for me. Lamal Le Parfum is that's a special fragrance. Not really, not really. I'm more of a boxing guy, and even then, I don't watch a whole lot. I am indeed. I am indeed. What's going on, Devin? Glad you like the new Andy Warhol. Kevin always does good work. I agree. Tycoon is pretty good, but I know Mikey's here. It's not as close as it could be. You know, it is, if you're looking for a clone, it is the one I would recommend. But like I say, with a lot of clones versus originals, there's not the same magic. You know what I mean? It's not the same magic. Kevin, uh, um, Mikey's version is really good. I'm not trying to hate. Just it's it's a hard comparison for me that one in particular, and uh, I think Tycoon was more off of the Eau de Parfum. I don't think the Parfum was out yet when Tycoon when he made Tycoon. He may have adjusted it since, but I think Tycoon was a, his version of the Eau de Parfum at the same time. Because I've had it for a long time back when he just did his plain white labels. Hugh Ortiz just moved near me, and I'm making his favorite cologne, Hanai Mori. Can't wait to do that. Black Anubis is fire. Do you spill? Eventually, eventually. Um, I have so much that smells like angel share at this point, you know? 
And I kind of I want to get Angel Share Parfum when that comes around. Tank versus Garcia this Saturday. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's – and look, Tank's going to drop him. Garcia's going to learn the hard way. Tank Davis is the new – is going to be the next pound-for-pound pound guy, in my opinion. That's a bad bastard right there. He is bad. Makes sense each of you have to hit the like button and keep out boy Ross and that – our boy Ross and that algorithm. I appreciate that. So Blind bought it. Should be on the way soon. Thanks for all your great contents, bro. What's your opinion about Mancera? Oud Lemon Mint. That's a really good one. I, I don't remember if I did a full review on my channel, but I did a collaboration review with Chad from Gentleman's Journey on his channel. I know that to be fact. Um, The name's a little misleading because I don't really find it all at Minty, but it's definitely Oud and Lemon. It's a very creamy lemon-almond-Oud combination. Um, The bottle color and the name may make you think summertime, but it's very, very heavy, dense wearing. Um. I think it's great for the spring and the fall. It is a massive compliment getter because it's very unique. It is one of the best releases Pierre Montal ever put out in the Mancera range. I think anyways, you know, there's a lot of people that would back that statement because they probably feel the same way. Um, yeah, I would definitely try that one. I, it's not the safest blind buy. I wouldn't recommend blind buying it. I blind bought it. I blind buy most, most of the stuff that I get. But I would say it's worth sampling or getting a decant just to try it out because maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's your favorite fragrance and you have to have a bottle. But I would definitely try that one. It's a unique experience. It's not minty like the name would in, in, indicate. Not to me anyways. But a very, very creamy, woodsy, almond, lemon, wood smell. Hope that helps. <sighs> not really. Not really. Um... I watch Bradley Martin and Sarah Safari just for the entertainment value from time to time, but it, it's still, it's not that often. Um, no. Hodge Twins stopped doing bodybuilding content a long time ago. I used to watch them again just for the entertainment value. They're not teaching me anything. None of them are teaching me anything. It's uh, it's just, I look for the entertainment value. I want, I want to laugh. I want to see some funny shit um, when it comes to fitness stuff. That's pretty much the extent of it. I uh, have seen some Athlean X videos over the years, uh, Jeff Cavalier, but not something I've ever watched on a regular basis. Like I said, I've never really consumed a lot of fitness content uh, outside of just vlogging or, or, you know, cutting up type of thing. Like I like the Don Mazzetti character, for example, bro science stuff. That's just funny. <laughs> you know, I just like some of the funny shit. White labels were different and much different. Yeah, for sure. Try anything Paris Corn, North Stag, Phenom. no. I haven't tried that one. I haven't tried that one. I'd be down to check out more, though. Let's see. Uh, it's worth pick, the, pick up for $50-ish. 10-4. Essential Obsessions, you should do a vent vid on it. I've done a ton of Essential Obsessions videos over the years. If you type in TLTG and Essential Obsessions, TLTG Essential Obsessions in the search bar, there's a plethora of videos for sure. Cliffy, what's going on, big dog? Glad you could join. About to shut it down here in just a minute. I'm just trying to get caught up real quick. What's your favorite by Killian? Straight to Heaven? No, don't like it. Apple Brandy's pretty nice. Angel Share is definitely up there. Angel Share, Black Phantom. It's going to be one of those. I'd like to try Moonlight in Heaven. I heard it's kind of tropical. I haven't tried that one. I've tried Roses on Ice. Pretty good. I think i got to go with Angel Share. I just I love Angel Share. Love the DNA. Uh, Black Phantom would be a close second. Nice sweet tobacco. Got a Mancera Discovery Kit coming, ready to buy something more high end. This is such a good house. You could you could build a collection just on Mancera and Montal. There's so much available, so much value for your money from discounters too. I'm gonna do something, but don't wanna be a crazy fan. Hello, he does follow me on IG, so maybe I'm gonna get a picture. There you go. I have nothing from Diptyque. I need to get a Discovery set. I need to get Joe to. I need to buy a Discovery set from Joe at some point. You wear aftershave alone. With fragrance, or is that too much? After I shave, I spray something. Like I'll, I'll do my whatever aftershave splash, and then I'll spray something very similar, if not the same scent. Depends on what I shaved with. <clears throat> Larry Wheels, yeah, Larry Wheels pops up on Bradley Martin's channel a lot. I know he recently raw talk. I like to watch the podcast more, the raw talk podcast that he does. I like watching that more. Chris, how are you? Let's see. 
Hodge twins were so funny. Love their vids back then. They do political stuff now, which I don't care about. Hit them for. Yeah. I used to watch them dudes eat in the car because <laughs> they're just funny as hell. Lord Keith and Lord Kevin, Mr. Feathers and Mr. Striations. I, I miss their bodybuilding content. Golden Fitness YouTube days are a thing of the past. Yes, for sure. For sure. Big Ron Jones is my go-to fitness guy. I like Ron Jones. I like a lot of these guys. I don't watch. Speaking, I mean, that's all you need right there. IFBB Pro Michael Gassaway. There you go, guys. Speaking of fitness content, I mean, he doesn't make a bunch of fitness content, but he is an IFBB Pro, right? And a big frag head, too. Mike is one of my first 500 subscribers, just like Kevin from Central Obsessions. So. Mike's been with this channel since the beginning. I miss the old Hodge Twins video. Chris Jones. I still watch. I still watch Chris Jones. I have some Pump Chasers clothing. I have a Pump Chasers stringer and another About That Life stringer from his Beast Mode Jones 360 website, his, uh, his coaching site. You know, I like Chris. I'd love to hang out with Chris. I don't watch him for tips. I watch him because I just like him. And I watch him all the time. Just here and there when I see a topic pop up where it's like, oh, I want to hear what he's got to say. You know who it is. Chris Jones represent Pump Chasers. Shout out to Chris Jones. I do like him. I think he's a good dude. Moonlight in Heaven's beautiful, incredible mango. That's what I hear. I watched uh, on Andrea's channel like three years ago, almost three years ago at this point. It was her, Justin, and Anthony. We were in Chicago. They filmed a video with seven of them, and that was one of them. And the guys really liked it. I didn't smell. I don't remember smelling it. I may have smelled it on the test strip. I just don't remember it. And they had a lot of really good things to say about it. I'd like to check that one out. Appreciate that. Thank you, sir. I'm sure there's something out there. Not that I know of, but I'm sure there's something out there. Eric, what's going on, big dog? Twins went red and Chris went another dimension with some euphoric AIDS. <laughs> uh, I would say Perfume Empire and Forever Lux are probably my main two. It's my main two. Mainly Perfume Empire. I've bought a lot of fragrances from them over the years. I like watching videos when they try to lift everything every weight in the gym so we're gonna shut it down after jared's comment here i wasn't quite there that early but first started watching you around one or two k was ninja watching mainly just listening to your content while at work well i appreciate that you guys have a great one we're a little over an hour as you guys know i like to shut it down in an hour uh quick recap i would say worth a sample if you want the oud tone back from this one without the funk you're going to want this one, and it's 8% higher oil concentration. I can tell you just off of last night's spray, it lasts for freaking ever. So make sure you like this stream before you leave, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one.